Okay guys, so I'm back uh, after priming it for three uh, layers and sanding it. I've revealed part of it just so that we can compare the parts that are unprimed from the parts that are primed. So this will be a nice little uh, test to show at the end. Um, so I'm going to do uh, a quick layer of this Krylon Fusion for plastic. This is white and it's gloss. Um, that'll be important later because uh, I'm going to try to make this nice and shiny uh, as just one way of doing it. So let's go ahead and see kind of how this works. Nice thick coat. Probably good enough for the first coat, and then I'll probably come back in a few minutes and do another coat. So it's been about 10 minutes, 11 minutes, light's getting low. I'm going to do another, another coat. And it's getting dark, but I'm going to do one more quick coat, and then I'm going to check it under some lights just to make sure it looks good. So here you can see what it looks like uh, after a few hours, uh, almost a day, uh, sitting there. So this is the area that wasn't primed, this is the area that was. You can see it's pretty reflective, uh, obviously more reflective on the side where I primed it. Um, this is a gloss paint. If you wanted something that wasn't as shiny, you could always use a, a flat or semi-gloss paint. Um, but I'm going to try a technique to get it even shinier, and that is I'm going to polish this with uh, rubbing compound and polishing compound. Uh, these are just found at automotive stores. Um, and basically the technique is uh, some of this stuff. You get a very, very lightly moist uh, paper towel and you kind of get some on your paper towel and then you basically just rub it on there. What this will do is it will basically lightly, lightly sand it uh, and kind of even out all the little imperfections. And so what you need to do is just spend some time rubbing it like this. And you do this for a minute or two, and I've only done this for 30 seconds. And then you can take a dry portion and rub it out. So now I've spent about 20 minutes polishing this with the rubbing compound. Now it's time to move on to the polishing compound. This is the uh, this is a Turtle Wax brand. You can see it's a little different. It's a little finer. Um, same same method. You basically just get a little bit on a really very lightly moist paper towel, and then you just polish it in, and it'll basically sand it down and just smooth out all the little sort of micro bumps that are on there and it'll make it really 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 smooth um, and more coats of paint and more polishing like this uh, you could even do some sanding if you do a lot of layers of paint you want to smooth it out first but this uh, rubbing and polishing compound is really uh, a good way to go to get it really really smooth um, if that's what you're going for. So you can see here with the uh, filler primer, it's maybe hard to see. I'll try to take some close-up pictures and show this difference, but uh, with this filler primer, it really smooths it out. And then with the polish, it uh, does that. And then you can basically use the dry side and when you take it off, you get this very, very shiny finish. It's kind of hard to show but uh, it's really really shiny it's like a mirror I can make out the tree that I'm sitting under I can see the branches and everything right in there so really really good so you basically just want to keep doing that keep rubbing that uh, polishing on each area uh, just for a while until it's as smooth as you want it um, you can see the filler compound really fills it in and makes it go a lot quicker um, you'd have to do several more coats of paint I think if you don't put the the filler primer on there. Um, so now I'm going to do that and then we'll, we'll get into uh, another step of painting. 